you would say this right here f of x is a way of writing an equation to show the value of x can be substituted into the equation to evaluate it for that specific value. It's also a way that we can name equations. So think of f of x as another name for y. So if you notice right here, it's saying f of x equals is the exact same thing as y equals 3x plus 5. To solve an equation in function notation, what you want to do is you want to substitute the given number for every single value of x you see. So if we look at that first example, f of x equals 3x plus 5. What I'm going to do is I'm going to find f of 8, meaning I'm going to take that value 8 and I'm going to plug it in anywhere I see an x value. So f of 8 equals 3 times 8 plus 5. Right here, this is just kind of like the name or telling you that you are evaluating f of 8, so you do not do any math work with that. Just keep bringing it down. But you can go ahead and simplify on the right-hand side of the equation. So 3 times 8 would give us 24 plus 5. Bring it down. 24 plus 5 will give us 29. So that is saying that if you plug in 8, you will get out 29. f of 8 equals 29. Notice I did no math work over here. No solving, no simplifying. That is just the name. Everything, all the action kind of happens over here on the right-hand side. For number 2, it's saying g of negative 5. So g of negative 5 equals negative 2 times, and then that's where my x is, so negative 5 plus 6. Bringing it down each step. This right here, negative 5 plus 6, will give us a positive 1. And for my final step, I would multiply those two numbers together. Negative 2 times 1 gives me negative 2. We're going to do one more. This one has an exponent, so I just want to take a look at that real quick, and then we'll move on to that next section. So right here, different name, but same concept, h of x. So notice, f, g, h, it's just naming each function. h of x equals 2x squared minus 4x, and we want to find h of negative 4. So anywhere I see an x, I'm going to put that negative 4 as a substitution. The very first thing I want to do is take care of my exponents. So negative 4 squared will give me 16. Negative 4 times negative 4 will give me a positive 16. So then that becomes... 2 times 16, which is 32. 32 plus 16, 48. So h of negative 4 equals 48. Plug in negative 4, get out 48. Okay, this last little bit is going to be still, we're still working with function notation, but instead of evaluating using math in um, algebra, we're evaluating based on the graph. So evaluate each of the following based on the graph of f of x below. So here's our graphed out function. If it's saying f of 3, what this is saying is that you're looking for when x is 3, what is y? So I'm going to go over when x is 3, 1, 2, 3, what is y? Well, here's your point right here. So that point would be 3, 0. So f of 3 equals 0, meaning that the point that falls on the graph is 3, 0. But this is your answer there. f of 2, go over 1, go over 2, and then you're going to find the point that is located on the graph, which looks like it's at 2, 2. So f of 2 equals 2 f of negative 3. So now I'm going to when x is negative 3, back 1, back 2, back 3. And then I'm going to go down to see that point right there. 
That also looks like it's at negative 3. So negative 3, negative 3. And then finally, it says find the values of x when f of x equals 0. So this is a huge, important detail that we haven't talked about yet. f of x equals 0. That means they gave you the y value. y equals 0. What are your x values when y is 0? So when y is 0, it's going to be along this axis right here. And it looks like there's a value here and there's a value there. So those two values are located when x, excuse me, those two values are located when y equals 0. So it looks like one of them will be 0. And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to write the other one, which is going to be 3. So those two values, x would be 0, x would be 3 when our y is 0.